Hey, how y'all doing? Fuck. Hey. Welcome back, honey. It's me, Thailand. I'm back with another video of her. So as you can tell by the title, today we've been doing a smoke with me slash unpopular opinion. Okay, so before I start the video, I just want to put a disclaimer that um these are my unpopular opinions. And if you don't feel the same way, I don't know what to tell you, honey. I'm not here to make you happy. I'm just here to share my unpopular opinions. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so grab your blunt and let's get started. All right. Number one. We're going to start off with something easy. Um, I just want to say, some of y'all babies be ugly. I don't mean to be mean. But if your baby ugly, your baby ugly. I mean, like, it is what it is. Like, let's let's not take ugly as a compliment. I'm just saying the way your baby's face is constructed, it's not in a cute way. You know what I mean? I think, like, y'all get the concept of a baby and the actual baby mixed up. Because having a baby is a beautiful thing, but sometimes the baby not always beautiful. I don't, I don't know, though. I don't know. Number two. Um, I feel like belching and farting should not have to be excused. Like, we know it's natural. We know it's a natural thing. So, like, what the fuck am I saying excuse me for? Now, if that shit stank, give me a warning. Give me a warning. You don't have to excuse me, but give me a warning if it stank. I just ask that. That's it. Number three, birthday dinner. Um, okay, so amongst the people that I invite to my birthday dinner... Amongst y'all selves, y'all need to go ahead and figure out who paying for my meal. Because I'm not paying for it. Now, if I invite you to like a party where there's going to be food, of course, you don't have to pay for anything. But like, me personally, I shouldn't be the one paying for this shit on my birthday. Bitch, it's my birthday. Be for real. It's not y'all birthday. Come on. Number four. Um, Everybody is not bullying. Some people just require an excessive amount of harassment now what i mean by that is um oftentimes i'll be like oh why are you bullying that girl why are you bullying that girl nobody's bullying it's just that when i said it the first time it didn't go through that bitch head so guess what i'm gonna keep on saying it until something change this is only really useful in certain in certain situations because like, okay, so if you stank and I keep telling you you fucking stank, I'm not bullying you. We just gonna call it excessive harassment in hopes that you wash that ass. I don't know. Number five. Um, jobs and school are not for everyone. Okay? Like, working, I know for a fact working is not for me. I just got out of work today. Tired as hell. Didn't even do nothing. All I did was stand in one place all day. Tired as hell. It's not for me. You know, and just having to wait around for people, me personally, I don't like shit like that. So, it's not a good thing for me. It might be what you want to do. It might be what your mama want to do. It might be what your mama did. But it's just not for me. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Number six. Age does not equal respect, bitch. So, what you mean to tell me is that just because your people decide to bust that pussy open earlier than my people, I have to respect you. <laughs> bitch, I don't know you. Be for real. And it's not like everybody just walk around with their age on their shoulder. Bitch, I don't know how old you is. I really don't give a damn. I don't care. In order to get respect, you got to give it. Cause like, what the fuck? You think I'm finna let this old bitch talk to me any kind of way? Because this bitch just so happened to live during World War One. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Watch her mouth. How about that, bitch? Number seven. Oh my god. You would think. You would think that this would be something that everybody would know, but it's not. Um. 
moisturize after you get out the shower. You know, I feel like that should just be a thing. Like, everybody should do that. And a lot of people don't. But, you know, <laughs> it's not my ankles. <laughs> it's not my knees. So, I don't know. I don't know. Number eight. Um, minding your business is okay. <laughs> you know, just sit back and worry about what the fuck you got going on. And this show, this show will be good. This will be a five-star show, bitch. We could take it to a one star. Well, it could be one star for you. Number nine. It's okay to be alone. It's really okay to do stuff by yourself. You can go out to eat by yourself. I swear you can. Bitch, you can go to the mailbox by yourself. You can smoke by yourself. You can do a lot of shit by yourself. You don't need somebody to be there with you. You might want somebody to be there with you. But you're not going to die if they're not. Unless you like walking down the street at like 3 o'clock in the morning and you're New York or something. Then you might need somebody to go with you. But as of like everyday things, you don't need nobody to. You don't need nobody to be with you. Now, me personally, I ain't never died before. But, um. Now, me personally, I ain't never died before. But, um. I don't think when you die, <laughs> God gonna be like. Where your roommate? <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't come in without the roommate, honey. I'm sorry. <laughs> Better look next time. He's not gonna do that. Number 10. I feel like everybody should know how to cook something. Just something. Bitch, I'm not asking you to make motherfucking cordon blue or a fucking wet goose steak or something. Bitch, can you make a bowl of oatmeal? Can you make some noodles? Like, what the fuck is you going to do if ain't nobody there to feed you? I don't know, honey. That's not my business. It's not my business. So. Number 11. Um, Your parents don't always know what's right. Like, when it comes down to, like, shit about you, like, the job you're going to work in, you know, shit you want to do with your life, they not always right. <laughs> like, come on, girl. Like, I never really understood that. Like, a lot of people, like... Their parents pick their majors and shit because that's what they want. That's what they uh did or they want to be like, what, bitch? Are you serious? So you mean to tell me I got to work fucking 16-hour shifts at the doctor's office because your ass decided to be a doctor? That don't got shit to do with me. I promise you, it don't got shit to do with a bitch like me. I, sw I swear to God, I promise you it don't. Bitch, we all not going to drop dead at the same time if I pick a different major. I, I promise. I promise. If we do, then fuck it. You ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> fuck. Number 12. Being delusional is okay sometimes. Because, okay, okay. Think about it. Think about it. You probably imagine every single thing possible. So, when stuff like that does happen, you won't be in a blind. You don't already thought about what you're going to do. You don't know. You already got your plan together. You find that nigga cheating. You already, you already know you're going to chop his body up and throw it in the river. You already know that. Because you already had this shit planned out. Come on. Number 13. Everyone deserves a long time. Even fucking kids. Like, y'all, are y'all listening? If that baby got that door closed, that baby wants some alone time. That baby wants some personal time. Leave that fucking baby alone. Fuck. Number 14. Um, a title doesn't mean shit. A title literally just categorizes people in your life so you know how you're gonna react to them. Say so for instance, you got all your side niggas. You gonna treat all your side niggas the same. Fuck, leave. Your both of your grandmas. You gonna treat them with love, all that or whatever. A title literally is just how you categorize people. It don't really mean shit. So, if the only reason you holding on to that person is because they just so happen to be your grandma or your mother or father, if you need to let that bitch go, let that bitch go. Get, bitch, leave. Get the fuck out. And number 15, reading is essential. And this coming from a bitch who ain't never read a book before in my life. I figured out that reading was essential when I started working at a grocery store. A lot of the questions 
that y'all have, it's written down somewhere. They'll come to you and do shit like this. Hi, um, is this an elf bar? E E elf bar, you stupid bitch. You know how to I read? I saw where it said elf bar, but I wasn't really sure. Yes, bitch. Fuck. Okay, thank Like, bitch, what? And, like, and stupid questions really piss me off. So, I already don't be wanting to answer. So, now that I have to answer, bitch, you finna get a smart remark. Because, like, bitch, don't ask no stupid-ass questions. Please don't ask no stupid-ass questions. But, yeah. Any que any question you have, it's written down somewhere. Unless it's, like, some tea or something. If it's, like, some family tea, then it's probably not going to be written down unless it's in a family group chat. But, like, you know, like... Normal everyday shit, like that shit is written down somewhere and you can find an answer. Bitch, Google, Bing, Yahoo, bitch, any any kind of search engine, bitch, a book. You talking about a book, bitch. I ain't never read a book, bitch. The fuck I look like reading books, bitch. Anyways, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. <laughs> I'm just a little high. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just a little bit. <laughs> That's all I have for y'all. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like this video, comment. In the comments down below, I want y'all to comment on any unpopular opinion of mine and tell me why you agree or disagree. If you want to argue, shit, what's up? What's up with it? What you trying to do? Oh. But shit. That's all I got for you. Hey, I bought this out. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, Y'all follow my social media. Purr. But it's just not for me. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry.